time for a spot the difference contest between the new sisters releases and units that already exist for the Space Marines. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking a bit about the miniature design for these new Adeptus Auroritas models. Games Workshop really has been giving us a steady stream of sisters previews recently, and one thing that's been quite striking is that every time they release a new miniature, people have been able to directly compare it to an equivalent for the Space Marines. Now sisters and marines do share quite a bit of design tropes in the first place, they are basically both factions of people in power armour bearing bolt guns, but with these six new kits that we've been teased, they certainly don't seem to be getting much more divergent from their Space Marine bigger brothers. We already know that this Palatine is essentially going to be a lieutenant for the sisters, providing a 6 inch reroll wants to wound bobble in just the same way. The Dogmata is essentially a sister's chaplain, although I must admit I do find it interesting that they really need a chaplain figure when basically their entire faction is utterly devoted to the Imperial Creed. I feel like that cape and mace is really quite similar to some of the Space Marine chaplain miniatures we've seen as well, and at least bears some passing resemblance to the Judas here. The latest entry has been this Reliquent at Arms, fairly similar to the Space Marine Ancients, though of course we don't know exactly what her rules will do yet. Maybe she isn't on a 100% direct analogue, she does after all have a fancy power sword, maybe midway between a banner bearer and a chapter champion. Perhaps the single most obvious comparison is the Castigator and the Predator tank. I suspect if you showed both of these to someone who didn't play Warhammer, they might struggle to tell them apart at least in terms of armament. The Castigator does have an extra heavy bolter hull mounted weapon, and it can choose a battle cannon or an auto cannon for the turret one, but these two models are just ridiculously similar, aside from all the faith related bits and bobs glued all over the Castigator. If anyone did have any spare predators knocking around, then it probably wouldn't be too hard to convert one into a pretty good likeness. The Paragon Warsuit perhaps isn't quite as close an analogy to Space Marine things, perhaps the most divergent of any of these new releases. Within the Space Marine range, maybe the Invicta Tactical Warsuit might be the closest analogy, but to be honest I think it looks far closer to a Grey Knight's Dread Knight, maybe a cross between that and an Armager Warglaive. I must admit though, for all the criticism that this non dam has got, I do think that Games Workshop has learned some aesthetic lessons from the Grey Knight Dread Knight. At least the pilot looks a little bit less, just like she's strapped to the front of the thing. Finally, and perhaps one of the best looking out of all these new releases, are these new Sacrosanct Celestians. Again, trade the power sword for a polearm, and you've got a very good analogy for a Space Marine Blade Guard veteran. Some elite melee troops with power weapons, with a fancy shield, and some bling on the backpack. I do know that all of these do have some slight differences here and there, but it's hard to miss that there are similarities, and it's quite striking that we can do it quite so easily for every single model. So why might things be looking a bit similar then? Firstly, I think it might be in part due to the huge size of the Space Marine range in the first place. We all know that Marines have gotten an excessive amount of miniature releases recently, and they do have a Space Marine equivalent for almost every single battlefield role right now. While you're keeping the theme of elite soldiers and power armour, there might not be all that many types of miniatures that you can actually make that aren't at least somewhat close to one Marine choice. There's no denying that there's already some quite close equivalents in the Sisters range already, the basic Battle Sister squads and Tactical Marines, things like Retributors and Devastators, Seraphim and Assault Marines, and Rhinos and Immolators, and Rhinos and Razorbacks. They are both going to be using the same Imperial technology, so there is always going to be quite a lot of superficial similarities to their war gear. And on top of that, Marines and Sisters are really quite similar in the lore, at least in terms of organisation. They're both essentially militant religious orders in space, just the Space Marines being a bit closer to maybe a knightly order, fighting from their fortress monasteries, and referring to each other as Battle Brothers and the sisters are basically a direct reflection of that, basically being organised in convents of space nuns. Aside from the obvious male and female divide, they both do seem to be taking the idea in different ways. The sisters' armies really emphasise the faith aspect of their fighting force, where the marines are a lot more technology and military focused, with just a few nods here and there to them being a knightly order. I feel like coming from such a similar setting, maybe coming from such a similar setting, it could be fairly justified that they could have quite a lot of units with overlapping battlefield roles. With all these new character miniatures, I'm not really too surprised that they would share quite similar command structures within their religious order, monasteries and convents. Finally, maybe for these new releases, Games Workshop might have just been focusing on what sells well out of the Space Marine range, so maybe they're doing an element of playing a bit safe and making things not too wacky or divergent from things they pretty much know do well in sales. The Bladeguard Veteran miniatures in particular were a really popular addition at the start of 9th, 
so perhaps it's not too surprising that they want to make an equivalent version of them for their sisters. Whatever the reason that there are some big similarities between the factions, the question remains as to whether or not it's really a bad thing that Space Marines and Sisters have some quite similar releases. Obviously that's very subjective. A few people do seem to have been a bit annoyed down in the comments for the last few videos, but then an equal if not greater amount just seem to be happy to get a whole load of nice new Sisters releases. Perhaps one criticism could be that it might make both of the factions feel a bit samey. Space Marines and Sisters definitely do both have their divergent units, and I think that the base profile does help to distinguish them a bit, Sisters being Toughness 3 and 1 wound across the board, as opposed to the Toughness 4 and 2 wound Space Marines, does mean that they should at least remain playing quite differently. Perhaps some of the choices might overlap a bit in the Sisters roster. That's certainly a problem for Space Marines, with all of their many and varied choices. Many of the units certainly overlap for certain battlefield roles, and wind up out-competing each other. I do wonder if they really are going to keep things like the Warsuit versus Penitent Engines balanced, and perhaps the Castigator versus the Exorcist, both of which could well be competing for the exact same slot and the same role within the army. In terms of in-game power, more choices do usually mean that there are more different ways to play the faction, and perhaps adds a little bit to the power of an army if you always have the right choice for the right role. Just for list building, I can imagine that quite so many support characters will mean that that section of the list is usually quite strong for sisters. Even if you don't use all of them, then you're going to be able to pick the best of the bunch for your army. Aesthetics wise, I think that Games Workshop has to strike a bit of a balance between creating things that are just too the same as what came before, compared with going out on a radical new tangent, and maybe creating models that don't feel like they fit within the same roster. I feel like they've perhaps done this well with a fairly safe bet of those Sacrosanct miniatures, but I did see a few people criticising that warsuit, saying that it didn't really feel like it fit alongside a lot of the other sisters' miniatures. That one was maybe a bit more of a risky bet. I feel like we saw a similar thing to that sort of debate, with the introduction of those Archaeopters and Taraxi for the Abmech. I think most people did really quite like those new flappy miniatures, though I don't think everyone was a fan of them, as it just pushed the faction in a bit of a radical new direction, really making the Abmech feel a lot more steampunk, and perhaps a bit less cutting-edge Dark Age technology from the 41st millennium. I personally like them myself quite a lot, but I can see where people are coming from. Finally, I do suspect that maybe fleshing out the sisters' miniature range quite as much as they are might reflect an element of Games Workshop wanting women to be a bit more prominent in the 40k setting, and maybe just have them as a prominent female faction to slightly counterbalance the factions that seem to be all male or nearly so, such as Space Marines, Orcs, Chaos Marines, Grey Knights, Custodes, and at least pretty much all current miniatures for the Imperial Guard. I'm sure if they could, they'd like to encourage a few more women to play Warhammer 40k, seeing as it's quite so incredibly male-dominated at the moment, at least by my YouTube statistics, it seems to be that at least 98% of viewers are male. Seems like it's a bit of a win-win for them on that front. Maybe try and gently encourage in a few more female customers, and also deliver on perhaps one of the most requested plastic armies when they did that community survey a few years back. I guess that is kind of beside the point, though, as to whether or not the sisters' miniatures need to quite so closely emulate Space Marine ones. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed a bit of a discussion around the subject. Do you think that the sisters' miniatures are too closely resembling Space Marine ones? Or are you happy with the ones that you've seen so far, and think that Games Workshop is doing a fine job? Look forward to hearing the debate down in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics, where I'll certainly try and keep the 40k tactics videos coming each and every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that I do have a Patreon page, which you can find down in the video description. Making all this content does take a fair amount of time, and if you are enjoying regularly, then any support is massively appreciated. Channel patrons do get a fair few perks, such as seeing a video early each week, regular votes to see what sort of things come next on the channel, and automatic entry to the monthly prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits. If any of that sounds good to you, feel free to check out the Patreon, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.